in less than a week, you're going to be on a new team, <laughs> new fans, <laughs> new city. It's going to be a whole thing. For the fans that may not know, describe the type of player that they're going to get, the type of person that they're bringing into their organization. Yeah, I, I just, I, I want to be that person that uh, gives it their all every day, both ends of the floor, and, and then represents, you know, that team, whatever it may be. Um, those fans and, and that city really well. I think it's important to know whatever jersey you're putting on, you're, you're not just representing yourself, you're representing a, a whole group of people in a whole city. So I think um, someone who does that and does it well and obviously gives it their all on the floor, um, that's, that's what I wanna hope to bring to a city and I, and I hope I get the opportunity to. <laughs>
Yeah, I mean, the draft is so much fun, but, you know, you could have declared last year and you're mm-hmm. deciding to do it this year. So what kept you at Ohio State? Was it, you know, goals of another great year, all these different things? Mm-hmm. What kept you wanted to do one more? Yeah, I think for my, I think a lot of things went into it, but most importantly, it was the group we had. We yeah. lost Taylor Mikesell, which was obviously a huge loss, but we had a lot of people coming back and a lot of people joining us that for that next year. So I just want to be a part of that. Want to be a part of another run, um, have an impact one more year at Ohio State, and then I wanted to get healthy as well. Um, yeah. The W is obviously, you know, probably the best professional league out there. So I think going into there healthy is important. Um, but it came down to this group we had, which was which was awesome. Yeah, I mean that's so special having a group that's like so tight knit and it's so fun mm-hmm. to play with it it makes all the difference in the world and so I mean obviously you you came back and you guys did amazing winning the Big Ten and all these other things that we've talked about but moving into the W what do you feel like about your game is going to translate the best in that professional career yeah I think I'm really excited because I'm, I'm coming as a rookie now I think being able to you know meet these veterans and learn from these veterans is going to be really special um, as far as my game, I know, you know, I got a lot of things to do to get better and work on it. I, I'm excited, though. I think um, I play a two-position two, two, two position game. I think I can guard and, and play offense. So I'm excited to just see how that translates. Obviously, it's going to be an adjustment period, I'm sure. Um, the pace and, and the size in that league is unreal and the talent. But I'm, I'm really excited to get there. Yeah, I'm excited to watch you. I've always been like a fan from the side, <laughs> even though we just talked about before we started. Aww, like, this is our first time actually <laughs> talking, too. but like, I feel like you're going to translate so well because, like, you talked about, you're not just, I think a lot of people are just like kind of one place on the perimeter. Mm-hmm. You can play a lot of different spots. And also, mm-hmm. your defense is insane, dude. Like, I'm not <laughs> trying to be picked up by you 94 Aww. feet. Like, there's so many different aspects to your game, which I feel like will translate. And I think also, like, just the amount that you've been able to improve, I think that a lot of people, when they get to college, they mm-hmm. stop like, you know, grinding, mm-hmm. like you do all these Absolutely. things in high school, whatever, but like your trajectory in college, you've made a name for yourself every single year, mm-hmm. which is like amazing. I feel like you don't see that all the time, but, um, you know, talking about being in the gym these past few days, getting ready for training camp. Let me tell you, training camp <laughs> <Yeah>. is a lot, <laughs> but <laughs> it's a lot, but yeah. what do you feel like? you've really been focusing on as you head to training camp, like those few things that you really want to show? Yeah, I think a lot of things, obviously being a three-level scorer, just keeping yeah. keeping that on my mind and keeping that always at 100% work ethic. But um, as far as I think physicality is something that is going to kind of be at the next level, um, definitely in training camp and, and just trying to kind of activate that as much as we can, as much as we can, just training wise, even if it's against, you know, some boys at times and, and mm-hmm. our, you know, our managers are coming in playing against us, trying to simulate <laughs> that. But, um, I'm excited. I've, I've heard it's, it's no joke. And, and I know, I know that's true. So I'm just excited to get an opportunity to play with those players. Yeah. Well, I think you're going to kill it. It sounds like you're doing <laughs> everything, everything to get ready, which is, which is what you need. And so Getting into the draft, you're going to be there in just a few days. Can we get a sneak peek into what the fit is going to be? Do yeah. we have any ideas? <laughs> Are we going to get any spoilers? Uh, Maybe the color of the outfit? Just I'll give you that. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. I just got it yesterday, so I was super last minute. I, I okay. d- didn't even get it with enough time to order things, but found a really cute black dress. I'll Ooh. leave. I'll leave it there, but it's it's awesome. I like it a lot. It's got a little okay. slit. Um, Ooh. I got some nude shoes to go with it, yes. and yeah, I'm I'm really excited. I'm I'm cool. If, Kind of nervous, but I'm a little excited to see how it turns out. No, I'm excited. (laughs) It's going to be great. It's going to be amazing. (laughs) We just got to talk about the championship game that happened this past weekend. Mm -hmm. The Final Four, the energy was insane. I was there on Sunday. It was packed, sellout crowd, all these different things. 18, however, million views. Were you watching the game? Of course, of course. Of it course. was awesome. And it looked it looked just as cool on TV. I'm sure yeah, you had yeah. a better perspective, but it looked insane. Honestly, JC, you're better than me because when we lost <laughs> in the final four, I couldn't watch. <laughs> I couldn't bring myself to do it. I was uh, I was so salty. I was like, I was like checking the ESPN updates, but I'm like, I'm not watching that. I just can't. Like I felt too close to right. it. But I mean, it was crazy. I mean, I was first quarter coming out hot, all these yep. different things. Was your, did you have a prediction going to the game? Were you picking Iowa or South Carolina? I, I didn't have a prediction. I was honestly, I obviously play, we play Iowa a lot during the season. So I wanted yeah. to see them. And, and South Carolina obviously is such a deep team and such a fun team to watch. So I didn't watch a ton of the first half. Second half, I had to tune in and, and just finish it up. But it was great game. I think the viewership was incredible, especially yeah. putting it next to the men's game. I think that's great for our game. So they're, both those teams are doing a lot for us and, and women's basketball in general. So it's pretty cool. 
The tournament definitely fueled the madness and brought out a lot of excitement and anticipation for next season. And I've got mm -hmm. a couple questions brought to you by our lovely sponsor, Wendy's. So was there a team this season or maybe just during the tournament that made you kind of do a double take? That will be like, you know, what you saw in the tournament is really going to fuel them into next season. They're going to have a big year. I think, yeah, I think NC State showed, showed out in the tournament. They had a great year, yeah. um, obviously made it to the final four. I think they showed a lot of what they can do. And they had spurts during, you know, their regular season as well. And I think just kind of definitely proved a point in the tournament and they were fun to watch. And I think they were unpredictable too, even even moving in into that final four. They probably didn't, they didn't get as far as they wanted to, but I had a lot of fun watching them. And I think in the future, definitely going to be a team uh, to look out for, for sure. I, I, I completely agree. I mean, there were times, I think, I remember NC State posting something about how, like, they dropped out of the top 25 at one point, mm -hmm. which was crazy, and here Wild. they are on the Final Four, <laughs> which I'm just like, it's so crazy how, with the depth of women's basketball and just the talent level across the country, like, teams are in and out of that top 25. It's it really crazy. doesn't matter anymore. It's crazy. Like, everybody's coming mm -hmm. in. You saw Middle Tennessee take LSU to the wire, upset yep. Louisville. Like, all these different teams are crazy. Um, but has there been... A specific player maybe in the tournament that you're really excited to watch them next season and just their continued growth yeah that's a great player i'm gonna be a little biased but i'm gonna go with cody uh yeah. she's she's awesome being able to play with her and, and just build a relationship with her through my time at ohio state has been amazing um we became really close and i've seen her game grow and i think she's only scratching the surface of what she can do so obviously she's she's a fun player to watch but especially come tourney time um she's unpredictable man i think it's going to be fun yeah. and i think people are going to be saying her name a lot more these next few years yeah i agree i mean she's a bucket like she's mm -hmm. a dog she's somebody <laughs> that you definitely want to have on your team and i oh, think yeah Throughout different episodes, we've talked about, you know, different players in the Big Ten and all these different things. People talk about you, but they talk about Cody a lot mm -hmm. and just how she does all these different things on the court for you guys. So I'm excited to see her kind of step into a continued bigger role throughout her next few years at Ohio State. And then talking about the Big Ten, there's so much talent that you guys have. Oh, my have. gosh, yeah. Was there a single player that sticks out to you that was toughest to guard? Oh, gosh. There's a lot. Um, obviously, Caitlin, an amazing player. Um, yeah. Cheyenne Sellers from Maryland um, played mm -hmm. her heart out against us. Um, I could go on and on. Jazz Shelley from Nebraska had herself an yeah. amazing year. It's just the talent in the Big Ten is unreal, and I think going against these players only is makes us all better. So I think the competition is only going to grow, especially with the new teams joining the Big Ten. Um, I can't wait for that. Yeah, no, I, I wasn't even thinking about that. You're bringing in <laughs> USC, UCLA. Oh, Are there any other gosh. schools? Or is it just I, those there, two? It might be those two, I think. There might be one more that we're missing, yeah. but definitely those two for sure. Oh, my gosh. All the different conference realignments next year, like Stanford and Cal to the ACC. Oh, it's gonna, yeah. Whoever to the Big 12. Like, Crazy. how do you – okay, we've talked to different Pac-12 players about how they think yeah. they're going to do in the Big 10. Mm -hmm. How do you think USC and UCLA teams are going to translate to the Big 10? Yeah, I, I think it's going to be good for the Big Ten. Obviously, it's two outstanding programs. We, we were fortunate enough to play them both this year, and oh, they got yeah, yeah. they have amazing players, amazing coaches. So I think – I do think style of play is a little different, but I don't think it's going to – I think it's going to be a good thing for the Big Ten, to be honest, and it's just yeah. going to bring, bring in more talent and more attention, which will be huge. Yeah, no, seriously. There's going to be a lot of star power. In the yeah, it's going to be year. crazy. <laughs> for, for sure. And I feel like, honestly, the height like of the Big Ten, like mm -hmm. I think like in the pack – we already look at y'all and be like, why are there so many tall girls in the Big Ten? Like you got <laughs> Kenzie Holmes and you got all these different people everywhere. And now you're bringing in like Lauren Betts and then right. Ray Marshall. Like there's some tall people about to be yeah. in that Big Ten. Absolutely. I'm excited to watch. <laughs> back to your early roots of basketball from Dublin, Ohio. How did the ball first get put into your hands? Yeah, so I grew up in Cleveland, actually. I moved uh -oh. to Dublin. I know. I moved Cleveland. <laughs> I moved to Dublin um, when I was a little bit older into high school, but okay. grew up in Cleveland. My dad was a coach. Um, my mom was a volleyball coach, too, so I kind of grew up in the gym. Uh, me and my brother used to mess around in there all the time. And then around eighth grade, it's when I started to realize this is what I want to do. I want to take it a little more serious and get better. So just kind of grew up in the gym and fell in love with it at a young age. And then uh, at, the rest is history, I guess. Just work, worked at it till then and um, was able to come to Ohio State, which was close to home, which is which was special for me and pretty important. So growing up, you know, being coached by your dad, having all these different trainers, who did you find yourself modeling your game after a specific player? 
That's a good question. Um, I watch a lot of NBA and WNBA. Um, I honestly, the player I watch the most uh, is Devin Booker. And mm. he obviously he's insane and he's an amazing player, but I just like watching the ways he finds to score. He scores in yeah. so many different ways. And I think like I'll be watching him and I'll rewind and I'll rewatch because it just fascinates me. Some of the things he does. And yeah. um, I, went, I don't know if I'd say model my game, but I definitely try to copy what he does. And I, I love <laughs> watching him play. <laughs> yeah, no, I feel like for me, I really most recently started watching him in the mm-hmm. NBA. I feel like I wish I watched my Kentucky more, but mm-hmm. his body control, just able to it's maneuver insane. and do all these different things. That's that's a good pick. That's yeah. a <laughs> That's the first on the pod. I like that pick. <laughs> but taking it all the way back to summer 2019, freshman JC, what were your first preseason, preseason practices like? Well, how were you feeling? I know I was a nervous wreck. So yeah. what was that like for you? Hopefully it wasn't just me. Yeah, no, I was absolutely nervous. I came in with, I want to say, five or six other freshmen. So we definitely mm-hmm. had, we had each other and, and the upperclassmen at the time were awesome. And summer workouts were, they were brutal. We went at it yeah. and we, we played a lot. And I that's something I didn't expect. And um, I love to compete though. I love to kind of get a feel for the game in that way. So it was awesome. And to do it with, you know, a lot of incoming freshmen too, uh, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. And obviously you have the nerves and you have the jitters. And I think once you start playing and scrimmaging, those go away a little bit, but um, definitely was nervous. Uh, I'm excited though, but cause I'm about to have that same, you know, kind of freshman feeling, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. It, it was fun. <laughs> Yeah, no, I think freshman year is such a fun time. And coming in with a class like that, five, six mm-hmm. of you, I'm sure that was very helpful. That Absolutely. I was the same way. My freshman class, inseparable. Like, if you have those, like, that group, you're able to really get through anything. You talk about whatever you need to talk about, debrief, you're all having <laughs> yep. the same struggles. And I know yeah. for us, we really bonded because Tara would get after us in film. Yep. Like, it, sh- it did not matter. I, <laughs> many horror stories from my time, my freshman year. <laughs> But, you know, you had this amazing jump in just your career and the role that you took on Ohio State and kind of was really a foundation player for what it has Mm -hmm. become now. Mm -hmm. And so was there a specific game that you feel like was kind of a breakout game for you? Like, okay, I belong here. This is who I'm going to be for the rest of my time. Was was there a specific memory that you remember? To be honest, there's not. I think um, sophomore year in general, I think I came in with some more confidence and Mm -hmm. and a different level of confidence and um, which I think we needed at the time. I wish I, if I thought about it, I bet I would be able to name a specific game, but I don't, I don't think so when it comes to comes to that. I think just the amount of work that I put in over COVID. And I think honestly, our whole group at that time put in a ton of work in the off season. And um, when we kind of were able to put it together sophomore year, it was exciting to see. Yes, just overall vibe. You came in, you're like, so I'm a bucket. This, this, <laughs> I got it. I love it. No, no, no. I like it. That's the answer <laughs> I was looking for. Yes. Oh. Sophomore year, you came out breakout season. Junior year, things really start to look good for you guys. Things were clicking. Things were going on. You guys make the Sweet 16. And then senior year, you were injured a little bit, Mm -hmm. played just 13 games, injury at the beginning of the season. But how was it kind of like you got to come back to the NTA tournament? And y'all made a run with Mm -hmm. you coming back, Mm -hmm. making the game winner, all these different things, scored 15 points in all your games. So what was it like having that mindset of like, I don't know, being able to work back into it, come in at the right time, at the climax of every collegiate season, Mm -hmm. were you ready for that tournament run? Do you know you were going to come out like that as you (laughs) knew sophomore year? Or was it just kind of like, I'm trying to get back Uh, into things? Yeah, I think that that was a hard thing for me to go through. I hadn't been injured like that before, so learned a ton from that and and was able to kind of concentrate on, you know, obviously, like you said, the timing of coming back and just trying to get back for that run in March. And uh, our training staff here, they did an excellent job. They guided me through that and, and kind of gave me the game plan and um, was able to come back in March. And it was exciting. I obviously want to make an impact. I love this team so much. And I know the group was so special and wanted to be a part of it and just be able to help them in any way I could, even if it was just, you know, a little impact out there to make a run. And um, super, super proud of what we were able to do that year. Uh, obviously didn't get as far as we wanted, but we made, I think we made a lot of heads turn that year and, and made a statement in different ways. So it, it was fun to be a part of. Oh, for sure. Heads were turned. And I mean, that game winner, <laughs> the game winner was wild. What? Aww. I remember watching it. We were all like, oh my God. And at the time, Jordan Hamilton that we had, she came from Northwestern. So mm-hmm. she was like, oh, I already knew. This is a bucket. <laughs> no, 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 no. We were like, Aww. okay, okay, we get a Big Ten, whatever. But, you know, after that great run, you decided to come back for a fifth year. 
What do you feel like has been the difference maker for you guys as a program this season to take home a Big Ten title, to have another number two seed in the tournament? Yeah, yeah. That was exciting for us. I think our, our main focus the whole year was taking it game by game, especially in the Big Ten. We mentioned how, how great this conference is and um, looking ahead is going to get you beat. So we were able to kind of narrow our focus to the next game of head, you know, whether that's Iowa, whether it's Wisconsin, whether it's Nebraska, just focusing on that game. Uh, I think gave us a lot of success. Obviously in the regular season, we did really well in a conference that is, is really tough. Mm -hmm. So looking back at it, I'd say that's probably the most important thing that, that we keyed in on and that coach, coach Carla and coach McGuff, you know, wouldn't, wouldn't let us look past the next game. So it was definitely helpful. Yeah, for sure. It's so hard not to like look beyond and do all these different things. Mm -hmm. And like even a team at the bottom of the conference, you look at it and you're like, oh, you know, we finna win. All of a sudden, yeah. the person at the bottom of the know. scout is coming out and like hitting <laughs> yeah, a whole bunch of threes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I'm like, this isn't what you do. Why mm -hmm. why do you want to do this tonight? It's definitely a thing. <laughs> Talking about all the other players, different growth. What do you feel like for you was your main area of growth that you worked on in the off season that translated into your senior year at Ohio State? Absolutely. I think I worked on a lot of things. I think I wanted to focus on my mid range game and um, my three points, you know, everything in general, but finishing around the rim was also something I really focused on in that off season. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like you said, we're playing against some big girls and I think finding the different ways to finish and just being creative with it uh, helps you out a ton. And then defensively, I always try to stay in condition just with a press we run. I think that's always a focus of everyone on our team. Um, yeah. But that, those, those were the main focuses going into that last year. And then, you know, being one of the older players on the team this past year, it was clear that you were kind of that leader for you guys. When did you step into that role and how do you think you were able, because it's kind of hard, like yeah, becoming, is, yeah. like, because I know for me, like, as a senior, I still felt so young. I'm like, I'm yep. still figuring things out, but here I am, you know, being this mother figure, taking care of people, whatever. <laughs> so what was that transition like for you becoming a leader on the team, not only this past year, but kind of even as a mm -hmm. young player because you guys had a lot of different turnover your mm -hmm. your younger years yeah it was it was a fun experience I, I learned a ton from it and like you said being able to do that kind of earlier in my career was was special I was able to build relationships with players pretty early and I think when you when you can do that and build relationships and kind of gain people's trust and gain people's respect uh, you're able to push them a little harder and and Cody is a great example of that for me I, I love Cody and I've built an awesome relationship with her and and I love it because I can get on her and, and you can kind of keep people and check and hold them accountable. So being able to do that early was huge. And then building relationships with the newcomers that came into and, and kind of being able to lead with them was special. And especially with this past group, a great group of girls and, and a great group of girls to just be around in general and learn from. So I think um, it's been fun. And, and the five, I've been here for a while, but the five years <laughs> have, have definitely been worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five, flown by, flown by. <laughs> it, it, it was nothing. <laughs> a lot about your teammates but I want to you know kind of dive more into different players on your team somebody like Cody what are you really excited to watch her in her growth moving into next season oh so many things so many things and I'm, I'm so hard on her so I I'm gonna continue to be but <laughs> she's so fun to watch even more fun to play with and I think her game she can go as far as she wants it to I think her defense is amazing not only in the press but in the half court too she can really guard and I think um, as she gets better, she's, she's going to start to see that. And I think her defense is only going to grow. And then obviously on the offensive end around the hoop, she's unstoppable. So I'm, I'm excited to see her mid range game. And even that three point line, I think she, I think she can, you know, up her percentage. And, um, I think if she does those two things, she's going to be unstoppable because she obviously, like I said, around the rim, she's amazing. And her footwork is amazing. And playing with her is so fun. Passing is a part of her game too, this year that she elevated in. And it was awesome to see yeah, no, I agree. I think that her sky is, I mean, her ceiling is just Absolutely. out of this world. I think that she can be amazing. And I mean, mm -hmm. to see that she already is so good, it's, it's just scary. like, there's like, yeah, like what we're talking about, like there's already all these different things she can add to her mm -hmm. bag. Like it is scary. So I'm really excited to see her continued growth. And then we talked a little bit about Celeste and what she brought to the team this year. Mm -hmm. How big of a piece was Celeste for your run that you guys were able to have this year? Huge, huge. And I, I respect her so much because coming into a program like ours where we no, we play fast on defense. We play fast on offense. That's really hard to adapt to. And, and she made it look so easy on the offensive end and on the defensive end. Obviously, we know what she does on defense and, and she did yeah. it for us and some. She's amazing. And being able to adapt to our style of offense too, 
um, it was impressive to me. I think she, she affected the game in so many ways, not only defensively, but offensively. So having her, I, I'm so glad she came here. I remember her visiting and I was like, you, you need to come here. So I think just being able to play with her for one year um, was awesome. And I'm so excited to see what she does at the next level. No, I am too. Celeste has always been a menace defensively mm -hmm. since <laughs> literally forever. Yeah. Anytime I ever played her, I'm like, huh. girl, you don't need this. But she's also <laughs> so talented offensively. Mm -hmm. And so I'm really excited to see her in the draft and what she oh, does yeah. in the league. And just her professional career is going to be great. And then mm -hmm. the last person I want to touch on is Rebecca. She is like, just she does every, like all the little things. I remember when we played you guys. We had on the scouting report and we're like, okay, so it's this big girl, she can mm -hmm. shoot, but then mm -hmm. she's going to do this and she can do that. <laughs> so like, what is it like having such a versatile big to play with? Because she yeah. really does it all. Yeah, she is awesome. She, her, her personality, I got, I was able to get close with her this past year and she is just an awesome human. And then watching her on the court and watching her joy that she was playing with this year was awesome. You, mm -hmm. she plays, obviously she can shoot the crap out of the ball. Her footwork is amazing. And she's just fun to play with. Her passing was this year was really good. Good too and she got she grew so much on the defensive end too and and rebounding so I think her career is just getting started too and I'm, I'm just happy to see the growth in her game um, from when she first got here and it's awesome it's been awesome to play with her throughout that time uh, yeah no she she's one of those <laughs> players where it's just like on any given guy night she can get hot and Absolutely. just shoot the yep. lights out mm -hmm. which is such a great thing to have and so mm -hmm. talking a little bit Bringing it back, talking about how, you know, staying home was really important for you, choosing Ohio State, how big that was for your career, but also your family and your sister, Emmy. Talk to me about Emmy, because I've heard, like, <laughs> from Taylor, she's amazing, everybody oh. loves her, like, getting to witness, like, snippets of her personality and what she is to the team and just everybody. Talk to me about, you know, did you expect your teammates and coaches to embrace her like they did? How how amazing was, you know, just seeing your relationship with Emmy, but also the relationship that she created with the program. And see, like, everybody who came through yeah. was only like, oh, Emmy, Emmy over JC, like, oh, the whole yeah. thing. Oh, yeah. She, she's the superstar for sure. And I think just being able to see what the impact she's had here, I, I never could have seen that coming. Obviously, I see it every day, but having an impact on these girls on this team and, and them treating her as part of the family was amazing. And I couldn't even ask for that. And even the coaches treating her like family and, and making sure she's here every game. It got to a point where when she when she's not there, it's it's chaos. Everyone yeah. freaks out. <laughs> like, where it, is she? Yeah, it, it was awesome. And I think, um, you know, she, she enjoys it. And I think she's starting to realize how rare that is and how awesome that was for her. Yeah. And I'm just happy she's had this experience because – um, she loves the game and she's such a happy person and such a person you want around and for her to have an impact on not only me and my family, but, you know, this university and even our fans, it's been, I, I can't even explain how awesome it's been. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's really amazing to see. And like you said, just like, it, that, that's not always the case. And so to be able to see, like, it says so much to the character of the people that you have in mm -hmm. Ohio State and just like how amazing she is and like witnessing just from the outside, like she just seems so happy and just like mm -hmm. such a joy to be around. <laughs> I think it's amazing. And I mean, we've seen time and time again, teammates of yours have talked about how Emmy is their why when they play. And so, you know, what sort of perspective and energy does that bring to the team when you guys are playing and all these things and when she's not there I'm sure I would be yeah. like JC <laughs> JC yeah well I don't care it's a road trip where is she like I need it so you know kind of what what energy did she bring to the team yeah that's it was special I think Ricky was one of the first people to say call her the why and and that's something me and my brother have said for years so hearing it from someone on my team and, and it was awesome it was kind of a game changer in the way that yeah. they looked at her that same way but I think when it comes down to the experiences we get and the opportunities we get and and especially here at Ohio State, you know, she's not going to have those same opportunities and and maybe not even the same experiences that we do. So I think just not taking anything for granted and mm -hmm. um, looking at life the way she does, you know, if you have a bad day and you think about her and everything she's been through and she had heart surgery at a young age and she doesn't have a bad day. You know, you don't find her on a day where she's not smiling and it puts things into perspective when, you know, you're down and when you're having a bad day and, and maybe you had a bad shooting game. It just tells you to keep going and that you can get through it. And when you have someone like her around you and in and, and my life and in their life, I think it's hard to to go about life in a negative way. And I think um, them being able to realize that too is is pretty special. And um, yeah. she'll never know the impact she has on these girls. <laughs> oh, no, I love that so much. And then my last piece about Emmy is how excited is she for the draft? <laughs> Like, just like ask you about your outfit. Does she have her outfit ready? Is she ready to step? 
She has her shoes and her shoes okay. are little sparkly sneakers. They're amazing. Yes. I don't yes. know if she's found her dress yet. And she is super excited. Everyone she's been in contact with the past few days, she's like, hey, we're going to New York. Like, I don't even <laughs> think she knows what she's stepping into, but she's yeah. excited. She's she's pumped. Yeah. And I think it, she'll definitely have a wake up call when she gets there and she's going <laughs> to She'll love the spotlight. She does well in the spotlight, so she. I'm not worried about her. <laughs> yeah, I feel like honestly, that's the fit I'm like most looking forward to. Is I need to see it. I need to see it everywhere. Aww. I'm really excited. So I'm I'm excited for Emmy's fit. She better come dripped out, and I know it's gonna be amazing. I just want to give you your flowers so quickly because I feel like you're so amazing in everything yeah. that you do, and it's not just the type of player that you are, the type of person that you are, the energy that you bring. I'm so excited to. I've always loved watching you. Play play and watching the impact Aww. that you have everywhere you go but I think you're gonna do amazing at the draft Aww, you're gonna thanks. kill the carpet you're gonna kill it wherever you go Aww. and yeah just just a big fan Aww. so just a quick quick thank moment. you I'm a fan of yours too I can't believe oh. this is our first time talking because it's crazy but <laughs> I know literally talking to Taylor she's like you and Jason we get along so well you know <laughs> here we are here it's we are. happening <laughs> Here we are, our vibe check. It is rapid fire answers. Okay. You're gonna do great. Here we go. <laughs> Who are you most excited to play against in the W? Ooh, uh, Kelsey Plum. Ooh, good one. Okay. <laughs> game winning shot or game winning steal? Oh man. Steal. Ooh, that's I think you're the first person to say steal. <laughs> I'm not steal. gonna lie. <laughs> yes. Um, and one or three pointer. Uh and one. Okay. Group TikTok, solo TikTok. Group. <laughs> okay who's Group. the the biggest trash talker it could be somebody on Ohio State or anybody that you played um I'm gonna go with Heaven Bristow who I think she's not she's not Ohio State anymore but definitely the biggest trash talker really okay a good one um who's the biggest flopper that's a tough one I'm gonna go with Ricky because he, she guards me at practice and, and it yeah. frustrates me okay she'd be flopping <laughs> there's always that one teammate who just like wants to get under your she, skin she's good at it though she's very yeah, good yeah. at it I mean, if you can sell it, you can sell it. I mean, yeah, it is absolutely. It is. Okay, what's your biggest basketball ick? Ooh, uh, when the shorts, I roll my shorts, so it's okay yeah. to roll your shorts, but when they're rolled too high, that, I don't know, <laughs> that annoys me. <laughs> yeah, 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 because we should not be looking like soccer or track yeah, shorts right exactly, now. exactly, yeah. still, It's still a basketball short. Mm -hmm. I agree. Okay. <laughs> if you had to pick someone to be your two-on-two -two teammate, but none of your current Ohio State teammates, <sighs> and it could be anybody, who would you pick? You. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> stop it! Shut yeah, up. no, not to be biased, but for real, I think I think we'd make a good team. <laughs> I think I think we would too. I think we'd be really good. I love. <laughs> great answer, JC. <laughs> Favorite podcast guest oh. so far. Okay, and then my last question for you is: Give me your best imp impression of Coach McGuff. Oh my gosh! It ha he. Faster, sprint, faster. It, <laughs> he says it 10 times, like every day, all day. I, and I, I'm fast. And I, whenever he says it, I'm like, am I really running that fast? I'm like, yeah. second guessing myself. Yeah, but you're like, I swear no, I'm trying my best. It's, it's definitely one of those two. He says it about 100 times a day. <laughs> uh, I love that. I love that so much. And JC, thank you so much for coming to the podcast. This has been Absolutely. such a pleasure. No, and I'm thank so you. excited yeah. to watch. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so glad I finally got to meet you. <laughs> yes, yes, of course. And thank you everybody for listening. Make sure you download and subscribe wherever you get your podcast to keep up with the latest on Sometimes I Hope. <laughs>